it's like people just come into these things and then if I was just to do whatever it was and then I said no one knows nothing about it uh, and then you like you go home and what was it you, no one's explained anything to you so I like to explain things and also the way that uh, I've got used to to uh, to kicking it off as well is that so that you can actually see as I explain how, how it works as well so <clears throat> I've been doing this particularly this this aspect for somewhere around 15 years give or take I can't think exactly how long and it's been a long like progression I still got a long long way to go there's still much more I want to do as well with it so the way it works for me now you could you'll probably ask another five ten uh, chance mediums about how it works for them there should be some key factors that run you know in, in a line with, with some of my beliefs, the way it works, but they might have a different aspect of the way it works for them in particular. Uh, I'm, I'm not brilliant with the science and the mechanics of things, but uh, over, the, over the years, and people, good friends of mine, well tutored people um, that I trust and that, um, I've gone over things together and um, we've come up with our own, how we believe it uh, to work. And so, you know you've all got your spiritual body, and you know you've got your physical body, obviously. But then also, uh, externally, you've got what a lot of you refer to as your aura and all that. But you've also got like the mental, physical, emotional, uh, sp uh, yeah, spiritual, spiritual. Uh, all those aspects uh, that, uh, that are around you in an energy field as well. But they're all connected to you directly, to you, your body. And so whatever emotion you feel is recorded in that, physical, uh, spiritual, everything. So you can be reached. So if a medium is on the platform, say for example, uh, and then starts, uh, is talking about, oh, this is your dad, his name's Bob, blah, blah, blah. And then they start getting emotional it's because that spirit energy is touching your emotional mm -hmm. energy field purposely to let you know. So that's where you'll record how they feel or what feeling they're trying to send. And so you've got all those bodies. And so in this, it's slightly different whereupon, so they get more into that space as opposed to touching it every now and again when you're delivering messages in different, you know, on different levels of it. Uh, this is where they put more of themselves, their own energy into that field and touch you on deeper levels. Now, <clears throat> when... Um, when this energy um, starts communicating, person rather, person, because they are people, mm -hmm. they have intelligence and they have everything. Um, in order for you to be able to see, because you should be able to see, you will, um, physical changes in one way or another. My voice should be noticeably different People like Michael know me, knows my manner, he knows how I speak, he knows my everyday, how I am, like my sister and maybe some others of you, which is good because when this energy comes in, his physical build when he was on earth, because don't forget it's not what he is now, they portray and give you that energy of what they were or what they want to be in that moment because they could probably give you, it's still thought based stuff you see, so they could actually project themselves uh, uh, to me in any form I guess that they wanted to oh, so not just their last life that no, they so they're not that are they no no but I thought that's what they usually did was the yeah last life. but the possibility oh, okay. is that they could project themselves in any, any form uh, that they wanted to but it makes sense to do that because yeah. they have a bigger knowledge obviously yeah. of themselves yeah uh, and that although when you pass over and this is what's been relayed to me from them they actually forget quite quickly uh, if you compare times, because time scale there and time scale here is a completely different aspect. Mm -hmm. And so, if you imagine, if you've um, if you've been reborn or what's just the word reincarnated, yeah, reincarnated. that's it. Yeah. Several, <laughs> several times. Uh, that's a lot of memory stuff. And once you've left, don't forget your initial form, your original self, is not a physical being. It's a spiritual being. So as soon as it's like your old car, can you remember what your car was from 19 whatever? You might be able to record it, but once you've driven it, done it, used it, got a new one, 
that, that one doesn't bear any significance <coughs> anymore. It's gone, it's a used vehicle, and it's finished with. You will take learning from previous experiences and you'll carry that stuff on, but the vehicle itself now is gone and finished. And so he'll bring aspects of that around, his physical self, his knowledge base. Um, and so when they interact with that energy that I was telling you about, your, those bodies uh, around you, the physical, the emotional, all of that, in order for them to display their selves through myself, obviously they have to be in touch with other aspects of me. So if he's gonna manipulate in some way my speech uh, and my movement, and, and whatever various muscles uh, uh, about me, then obviously they've got to be interacting somewhere with your nervous system, which makes good sense to mm -hmm. me, because otherwise, how are you going to get them to move? If you haven't got that ability to do that, uh, then there must be some way that they interact with that also. Uh, but if anyone's getting any other opinions, which I mean, I'm open-minded, and if someone says to me, well, what about this? I'll happily listen and think, do you know what, actually that makes more sense even than that. So I'm open to all of, all of those things. And they're able to do that because you take yourself off. Mm. Right. So yeah, even before we start, you're free to like, show, well, you can ask anything you want before we start, but the deeper stuff keep for when we sat down. Yeah. So while you're sat there, you should be thinking of all sorts of questions that you can ask because I know what it's like I've sat in rooms with like 50 other people and not one of them where by the time we finished putting sat down no one got a question yeah well I'm glad you have <laughs> I'm glad you have but it's rather hard work sitting there in silence although they find plenty to say this fellow does can start will start opening other things up that might make you think or should make you think so if there's no you know if he sees a space where you're not talking they will interject and get the energy moving because this is all about energy, right? And it is about communication. So if you sit there and you just like, and nothing happens really, then yeah, that's what you'll get back to a degree. So it's, got, it's about communication. You've got to keep the energy moving. Um, any other questions? Any questions at all before we Will start? Will you just communicate with some random person? Mm -hmm. It's possible. It's possible. And it has been in the past. So, or would it be someone connected to us, one of us, or more? There'd be someone that works with me, okay. that I've worked with, because like, You're they need to get me. used to me, <laughs> hang on, they get used to me, and I have to get used to it. It takes a long while for me, because in the beginning, uh, I couldn't even speak, I wouldn't, even, you know, because it's like, you can feel the urge to speak, you know you want to, but it just doesn't feel right doing it when it's not your own. So it takes. It took me a hell of a long time just to get used to opening my mouth, really, and even saying a sentence. Nice change. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but it does, you know, and so it takes a long time to get to use that. And as you progress through your years as well, so they progress. So at this level, this is the energy you're working on with, right? That's the energy you're working with. Once you've got used to working on that level, then you need to step up, you, you move up to another, but then the energy you were working with there, it doesn't work on that level. So you need someone else who's working on that level. So he gets a new influence that starts saying so on and so on and so on. It may plateau and then you get different aspects somewhere, but it's always about progression and things as you do it. What was you going to ask? I was going to say, because it's happened to me a few times, just unexpectedly. Right. And like you're saying, it, you want to speak, but you, you just can't, or you don't know, you know. You don't have the faith in yourself, it well, just sounds you, stupid, and you yeah, just think it's your own yeah. head, and it but, takes yeah. a long while to get over that. Yeah, but maybe I've, I've, I've done that, but it feels like I've been strangled or choked, because uh, I haven't been able to say what I'm supposed to say. Um, strangled or choked to me sounds a bit severe from my mm. perspective. I wouldn't well, want to be feeling feel, like that. Being a bit choked. I might feel dry and coughy and yeah, a little bit I irritated. Bit, I feel like there's something, you know. Yeah, yeah. If it's that, but I wouldn't want it too severe. Or I was no, no. That aspect of it. That and I be. usually get really hot. Yeah, well, the heat comes because it's a physical thing, yeah. and so obviously you're working with base energies. Yeah. Uh, and so that's where you would expect to get that. Yeah. Do you remember um, afterwards what you said? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't. Not to a point. What I would remember is, so 
this is a good point actually, because when you start, so when we've got this connection, so you're in the middle, you know, so he, there's his little thought thing there, and so he sends that speech through, so it's not, it doesn't originate in my head, No. it comes from there, through, and then out my mouth. Now if it was something I'd thought of, I'd expect to remember it, because it came from me in the beginning. Yeah. The only time I remember particular pieces is if I can hear, because my, the idea is for me, so you just shift your, your, your inner self, you, your, <coughs> you push, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> you push your mind to the side mm. to a degree. And um, so they put their thought in there, you speak it and then let it come out. Now if he started talking about something that particularly interested me, if I heard a little bit of something at all, I try not to pay too much attention because the more my consciousness comes back, the less you get yeah. Of, yeah. of his influence. And so it would destroy it and breaks it up, you know, it does. Mm. So if you hear a little bit of a anumananara uh, in some areas, it's because I'm getting too interested in what's going on. And so I'll try and relax it. I might take a five second, gather myself, let me get control again and then move on with it, you know, that kind of thing. But the point is not to be involved. If you ask me afterwards, uh, after the evening, about everything, I wouldn't have a clue. No. But uh, I would be able to recall, if you said, do you remember him talking about this? Because you brought it up, I might be able to recollect something. But if you asked me to say specifically, unless it was something that I just mm -hmm. caught because it interested me, I probably wouldn't. No, because I got taken totally but, out. Yeah, there's lots of degrees, which is another thing <coughs> of um, like <coughs> trans mediumship, because there's so many different levels of it. And um, it's good, if you're interested in this, go around and go and see as many different mm -hmm. as you can, because there are different levels. Some I've been to are really quite disappointing. Some I've been to that are absolutely amazing. I mean, really, really amazing. There's a fella actually doing a workshop not too far away, Stephen Smith. Yeah. So he's taught me a lot. He, and the, the fella knows, it's just honestly, he's so unknown and, and yet he's busy every day of the week um, because he's so damn good at what he does. His mm -hmm. knowledge is humongous, mm -hmm. humongous. And the influence that works with him on all levels, uh, he's just phenomenal. Phenomenal. Stephen Smith, he's, there's a thing on Facebook, they're doing one in Wickham shortly. He's very good. Absolutely, worth every penny. Um, so, um, Penny's organised that. Did you do that? They asked me to book it. All oh, right, well, he's cracking. I know. He'd be the best I ever. Know that, I know that yeah. too well, don't I? Yeah, I mean, Would he's the best ever, honestly. Uh, and I might even be coming back to that myself. So, now, the other thing, <clears throat> now, while I'm talking to you lot, I've got two things, I'm, I'm also in my head, see, sending out my little stuff out there uh, to him as well. So the thing is, like I said, I'm trying to explain you, to you uh, the way that things work. So can you flip that right off? Please, Penny. Do you, do you <coughs> want to say anything about overshadowing and yeah, trying? Yeah, I'm going to work my way through that oh. of things. And so, like I said, some, you can tell they're in a different <coughs> state. Some think they are, some want to think they are, uh, and some really aren't. Um, and the first thing I will say, it's not always so much what you see, it's about what you feel. Because when that energy comes in, the room, the atmosphere, everything changes in it, and you should feel it as well as it comes, <coughs> comes around. And so like, when you get inspired, so you could be, I don't know, sat indoors and you want to write something, a little story, uh, poetry, whatever, a song, doesn't matter. You sit there and you tune in and stuff and then you start, so you can say, oh, oh I've got this, uh, it was a sunny day and blah, 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 blah. But it comes out in such a lovely, lovely way. So you know that that's inspired. It's not just you thinking, you've been inspired. Now you could stand up in front of people and give off a similar philosophy to whatever's in that writings that you've done, mm -hmm. but that's not trance. That's lovely it's and it's credible, but it's very lovely, inspired spiritual stuff. And then you can take that um, a stage further. So when you see this person up on the platform, <clears throat> so you know, if they start talking about whatever, first of all, 
and then you know it's like there's a little change suddenly comes in as they're talking and the voice just has a slightly different tone to it and then the content that they're talking about shifts as well so from what they started with suddenly there's a shift and then you just notice there's a little something about the manner not a complete change but just enough to detect that there's some influence working a little bit clo closer with them um, that's, that's given them that you see so that's a, like a light trance stage prior to that though you can also see sometimes over people like sometimes you can see clear um, facial image image over the face other times you can just see this like energy factor which is like an overshadowing so you know they brought their energy nice and close to them to try and inspire them on a greater level but that's um that's another thing that's overshadowing that's not a trance the light trance is what i just told you about where they start to show uh, elements of a speech change maybe a little facial change slight mannerism change um if you notice where if you go and see that stephen smith as soon as you see him sit down or his hands start to bend, yeah. that's Josh, his little yeah. helper that Josh works with him. Yeah. Uh, and that's when you know that influence is, is there with him. And he has a distinct thing with his lip, his eye goes a bit funny. He has all sorts of little things that I've known about him for quite some time. Um, and then, of course, then you move into um, <coughs> trance uh, in itself. Whereupon you should be able to visibly display the speech, the physical, the knowledge. So speech, physical attributes, mannerisms, knowledge base. Um, yeah, so it should be a different character from the one that you see, first of all, sat in the thing. And then if you, from there, if you like all the, like we do, all the physical stuff, the phenomena where things move around and all of this stuff, you like things to manifest and what have you, that same trance medium sitting in the right conditions with the right group of people, then you can get into the deeply physical stuff. And uh, some, very few, very, very few, so for me out of 50, if two, three, four of those at the top, the max, uh, literally go into out of it go right out of it and then they're not even taking part they're just being used as the battery as the as the conduit whatever whatever you want and it even gets to this stage where the voice doesn't even come from the medium it just comes from the room literally and physically the hop the room speaks it, as it was and i've seen that um sometimes and it's absolutely fantastic uh, I'll tell you after on the social level about all the other bits I've seen, which is like great, but it's not for this minute. Um, so, yeah, um, that covers all that bit then, that aspect of it. And so, now the bit I, um, um, I want to um, get to now, so I've seen over the years, and I'm sure Penny has as well, and others, there's no need for drama, right? So, falling on the floor, contorting, doing all silly things, or I've seen them sat, the fellow I went to see, I won't say his name, sat in a chair, I was with Andy, my it's best American, mate. Isn't it? uh, I think he was Canadian, actually. Yeah. But, um, and English, I've seen them do it as well. Sit in the chair, arch over the back, start oh, no. choking and giving it all the... <laughs> All of that literally in front of me <coughs> and um, yeah and then you have to sit there for 45 minutes and listen to the rest of whatever was likely to come out that you knew it was going to be a waste of time um, but it's disappointing because if that's the kind of agony you've got to go through to communicate with anyone that was on the spirit side of life I think I just throw my hand in and say Joe no I forget it I really can't be doing that it doesn't need <coughs> to be like that at all you might have difficulties, like our friend was saying in the beginning, where you get, you know, your throat, your because th your throat chakra there, when you're going to speak and communicate, your throat really does irritate, and it's like a forcing to, and you really have to get it, you know. But unless you just start talking, uh, that, that bridge that you get over is, is a difficult thing to get over in the beginning, and so you can, I know, it can make you cough, it could make you some some you know awkward sounds but not to that extent, really, <coughs> <coughs> not at all. <coughs> so, 
So <clears throat> you can make it a smooth, <clears throat> smooth transition from one to the other. <clears throat> and so what I'm gonna, I better turn this off now because I'll forget to do it after. Are we able to do it?